Hello, Glacier, Phantom Brave, PC. Um, yeah, I've been hoping this would come out so I could record it. Ever since I saw Disgaea PC, or Disgaea, however it's pronounced. I've played four different Nipponichi strategy RPGs. I've also played a Makai Kingdom and um, Lapisel Tactics. But this is the one I've wanted to show the most, so I'm happy it got a PC release. But yeah, let's, we're getting right into it. Island of Evil. Gonna, gonna fight the final boss right here. Except first we've got a tutorial battle. They keep coming! How many are there? And I did leave the English voice on. Something's not right. We should get out of here. I do have the option of Japanese. And it's raining oh black. Gosh, this way. Okay, this way. I think there's a tutorial battle on this island. It's been quite a while since I played the original PS2 game. So also, I've never done another Morona. So it won't be blind for the main campaign, but there's a bonus campaign that I'll probably also play. Might depend on how long the LP goes and how much I want to move on to another ideas, game. Ash. Any Just ideas? Oh, get Jasmine, get Jasmine somewhere, somewhere safe. safe. I'll handle these guys. You'll go no further. For her sake, I will not fail. Okay. Gonna fight some little demon things. Let's explain the battle mechanics. There's a turn order. It's right there. Faster characters are faster. You can move 60 decimeters. Uh, yeah, and also, yeah, we're still explaining turn order, right. The person whose turn it is says check. Yeah, in this instance, the order is this order. And yeah, Ash's speed allows him to act twice as the battle starts. Quick characters have disadvantage. Now let's talk about moving. Alright, select destination. And the red line is how far I can move. Because this isn't on a grid, we have... We have a distance we can move. This is, this is actually Warhammer. Every game is like every other game. Um, <laughs> yeah, Warhammer table, tough. <laughs> right here. Okay. We've decided where the character will move. You, you can choose move. Also, uh, the mouse works. I haven't pressed K except once to advance the text. Okay, can keep moving as long as you're not out of movement. You can cancel with L. Not cancel after attacking, so that you can't cancel past a miss or something and try it again. Stick around to learn about attacking. <laughs> wow, it's the tutorial for attacking. Okay, or target and you attack, and you can tab if there's more than one target. Because an enemy could st step on another enemy, and it would be hard to target the one you actually mean. Yep, we've got skills. And we have multiple kinds of SP. I thought there were eight kinds, there are only seven. Currently, Strike is the only available skill. Yeah. I bet I can right click to cancel as well. Characters allowed one attack per turn. After moving and attacking, you can end your turn. And the next character will have their turn. There's a question mark action. Okay, basic sequence of battle. Move, select a command. Press I for battle help. Okay, practice with only movement attacks. Stage start. Yeah, I can cancel with right click. So the mouse controls, I prove. Pow! Got him. Oh yeah, and my turn. And it's my turn again, because I'm fast. <clears throat> oh, if I wasn't using the mouse... Oh, right, I need to end my turn. Yeah, they start out targeted. It's just the fact that I moved the mouse that I had to retarget them again after choosing strike. Uh, no, don't skip the demo. Is it over? By demo, it means the plot. <laughs> no, there's still. Hey there, guy. What the hell? 
Jasmine, what about language? Get out of here. Oh no. Damn. Two of the things we killed in one hit. I'll hold them off. You two escape. Wait, what are you saying? Run away. I can handle this. Morona. I'm sorry, Morona. Remember that your parents love you. Oh God, just once more. Lend me power, one last time. Sacred power, bless our passing. Miracle chartreuse! It's important to have colors in, in your magics. So, uh, yeah, rip everybody. And there's this guy. So, those bodies back there must be your doing. Ha! Huh. Is that all? Yep, turn based combat. He knows what's up. Bless me, incarnate, Dark Eborius! Wow, Dark's not a color. Not yet. It's still not enough. <sighs> I'll need far more Dark power if I'm to exact my revenge. Yeah, you, you go about that. Later. Wow, finally we got the title screen theme. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Morona. What is it, Ash? Spooky ghosts. Huh? Those clothes. She had no right to do that. I don't care if she was the client's granddaughter. Hmm. Don't worry. Those clothes were too small for me anyway. This outfit's much cuter. Nice. They didn't even pay you the full amount. Why didn't you say anything? Sometimes you have to speak up. Morona, even that little girl called you the possessed one. There's something mom and dad used to say when I was little. They said, people will judge you because they can't understand your gift. But don't hate them. You were blessed with that power so you could help people. Grow up compassionate and kind. Help even those who hurt you. Then one day... One day, everyone will come to like you. Right? Probably something like that, yeah. Yep. So, you don't think it's more important for me to make people happy than to make money? <laughs> wow, what a question. Well, they weren't exactly happy either. Don't worry, Ash. It's like my parents said. Yeah, we, we've, we've been over this, Morona. Morona, who lost her parents at age five, turned 13 years old this year. Morona lives here on the island, and still holds on to the beliefs which her parents instilled in her. As for Ash, though Hayes' last breath allowed him to avoid death, it was not sufficient in granting him life. Trapped between life and death, Ash exists now only as a phantom. <laughs> Suddenly Ash. All right, we've got oh, mail. Wow! Look at them all. 
Obviously, Wait, when you're on an island, let me check. You get mail in bottles. More insulting letters. Why won't they leave her alone? What do they say, Ash? Um, they were both the wrong address. Again? Why do so many sea males end up here by mistake? Looks like this one's the only job offer. It came in the emergency bottle, so the client must be pretty well off. Ah. Uh. Hmm. We're going to Terra Firma. Just make sure they pay us in full. Once we have enough money, we can make an offer on this island to Siena. Yep. No more worrying about higher rent or being evicted. That, that would it be good. It will probably be a while before we can afford to buy the island. But right now, we need to help the people of Terra Firma. Yeah, I know. But we're Chromas, Morona. There's nothing wrong with expecting our fair share. Your parents worked as Chromas to raise you. I don't know why they needed a new name for mercenary in this game, but there you go. Thanks very much. Would you mind taking this rent money to Sienna for me? Perhaps they also handle less combat-oriented tasks. I'll paddle as fast as my tiny limbs will allow. Okay. You go, living bottle that delivers messages. You can actually get them as party members. Alright, are you ready? I can't wait to find out what people in Terra Firma are like. Ash has watched Morona grow up and kept her safe from harm. As the only survivor, he felt it was the least he could do. Mm hmm. Morona has inherited the stigma attached to her parents' abilities. Ash vowed that he would always protect her. And it's a passive ability. <laughs> Chapter 1 A Jill of All Trades. Wow. Why doesn't the narrator read that? Instead, Ash has to do that too. Oh, island music. We'll be hearing this a lot. Oh, some phantoms heard about us and came to join up. A merchant, a healer, and a soldier, I think. Yep, can purchase items, can heal, and can also heal out of battle. It costs money. Yeah, you do ask for donations. And a soldier. You're not amazing at fighting, but you remain for a long time once confined, and we haven't been briefed on confining. Gotta, gotta have more tutorials. What, what do you think? Come a long way, so we should let him join us. Alright, deal. Three free party members. And that green thing lets us create more party members. And then we, we can pick a type. Yep, and we talk to the mailbox to travel. Might want to, like, save our data, too. Oh, I can right-click to pull up the menu. Alright. Oh, nice mouse movement. Can I even jump with the mouse? No, jumping is essential. Okay, I can jump with L. Isn't there a run button? Oh, where is it? Oh, I did one damage to Morona. I know there are secrets somewhere on the island if you jump on them, and they give me money. I watched a video yesterday, but I don't remember the locations anymore. Okay, no one was there. No one was this corner. Eventually, I will get to the fighting. But this, this is important. Not really, actually. I think there are like four hidden spots. Oh, there we go, that corner. I believe I only got three just now. Don't 
Can I rotate the view at all? Ah, here we go. It's like in here. There we go. And then there are a few secrets if we get to high elevations, but I don't want to do that now, because I don't really have the phantoms. Because you gotta like stack them up. Where did Marana get stuck? Guess it doesn't matter. Let's go to the world map. Actually, wait. Since I have money, I can probably fail to find what button the cancel button is. Oh wait, you just have to select Phantom Isle again. I don't want to create characters. No, no, I don't need a tutorial on it. Maybe I'm not allowed yet. Do you have functions yet? Oh, you're awaiting a shipment. Yeah, heal Morona for five money. And you have no on-island function. I just grabbed you, though. Oh, what's talk? Maybe you just don't talk. Yeah, K was talk. J was pick up. Anyway, let's let's actually go and let's not skip the plot. Maybe I should pick up my controller. Episode one, the possessed. Okay, episode one of chapter one, and chapter one was Jill Ball trades. All right, we're at Terra Firma. Hey, isn't that the possessed chick? She doesn't look so tough. Whoa, the prompt changed. What's the elder thinking? She's just a little girl. There's gotta be better chromas out there. Nope, we're the best. This generation just doesn't know when to keep their voices down. Me thinks he's planning to fight evil with evil. You know, like fire. Exactly. He sounds like a thief. Exactly! Mm -hmm. He's taken every tool on the island. Not that there were a lot. What's more, he's taken all of our oh. food as well. This sounds serious. That's terrible. Who would do something like that? Aren't I paying you to figure that out? <laughs> I'll give you a clue. All we know is that he's in the White Wolf Army. Oh, who knew they'd sink so low? The White Wolf Army? No way. Ah! Shock and awe. Ash had spoken without thinking. His outburst alarmed the townspeople, as only Morona could see him in his phantom form. Ah, who said that? Huh? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Perfect. Sorry, Marona, I didn't mean to. Anyway, listen yeah, to me. Didn't mean, to, show. To, refuse didn't this mean job. to refuse the job. Except, like, no. Huh? Gotta get all the food Why? back. Think about it. Who's the strongest raven? Raphael, the leader of the White Wolf Army. So skilled that he's one of the Nine Swords of Ivoire. We wouldn't stand a chance. Well, not if we're fighting him. Mm, you're right. We'll just negotiate. I don't like lots of fighting anyway. Perfect. That isn't what I... Don't worry, Mr. Elder. I'll take care of everything. Oh, it means a lot to us. I'll hope for your success. Wait a minute, there's food on the tree. They didn't to get all the food. Maybe it's not ripe. Okay. Oh! Exclamation mark. What are you doing? Do you want to end up possessed too? Stay away from her. Okay, I gotta stay away from Morona. There, there are spooky ghosts about. Morona. It's okay, Ash. One day. All right. Oh, we can play a tutorial. Yeah. Okay, battles revolve around Morona. It's important to master the confine ability. It lets you summon phantoms, and Morona can't fight alone because she's not a skilled warrior. 
can like pick rocks and stuff, and you put phantoms in them. Because Morona's got an extra thing below the question marks. Yeah, phantom stats vary depending on what object you pick. Rocks make you defensive, but slow. Okay, would be good for a hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Like, that flower, it's got like plus 25% dint on it. Yep, should use someone skilled at casting spells. We'll confine Ash to a rock. He has quick attack, so his turn will follow Morona's. Let's go! Now Ash can help fight. Confine can be used as many times in one turn as you wish, but phantoms don't remain forever. Now note the remove stats. Remove 5 means it'll return to phantom state after 5 turns. Once phantom is removed, they can't be confined again in the same battle. Oh, maximum is 16 characters allowed in single battle. I thought it was 10. Oh, but it includes equipped items, so it's more like 8. Yeah, Disgaea I know is 10. Okay, important to confine the right phantom to the right object. Be aware of the situation and surroundings. Confine is an essential part of battle. Alright, so we'll do exactly what was suggested. Let's do Find it. Ash there. And let's see. Let me just make sure. Okay, and no other objects or enemies around. So the merchant, the healer, or the soldier. Well, let's get out the healer. Actually, we're in range. Let's, like, hit a rabbit. Let's strike. <laughs> Pow! Zero. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, Morona, not not the toughest of fighters. Oh, I can't! No! <laughs> My plan is ruined. Alright, you strike. And hit a bunny. And we could actually move after attacking, as long as we have movement remaining. Alright, shock. No, this attack is based on int, even though it's our zero SP attack with a healer. It has a knockback effect, can't combine. Great. I don't know what can't combine means. Alright. We got six money. And some XP. Alright. I should know how to interact with objects. There's a sword. It opens up many options. Morona can wield it, but let's get Ash to wield it. Okay, summon Ash to anything other than the sword. Let's do it. And just end Morona's turn. This is the tutorial going on its own. Yep, and then you command and you select lift. The only equipment slot is the weapon slot, by the way. Or rather, the hands slot. Okay, Ash is now equipped with the sword. Now attack with the new weapon. And it's, you've got skills, because the item has skills. You can also throw objects, of course. Yep, you need SP for skills. Spirit icon 3 means you need at least 3 SPs of spirit. We'll use Snake Beater here. Yep, there's an area of effect. Select target. Also, you can move while you're targeting if you hold the X button. Here. Red cursor will appear if you're gonna hit a thing. Pow! Six! Does that have, like, a bunch of water resist or something? To when equip a weapon, move your cursor to a location and throw it. Okay, you can't now because you've already attacked. You use lift as many times as you want, but only throw once. Lift works even after you attack, but throw does not. If you're holding an item, you make guard. Okay, but the item will take damage. And if the item's HP drops to zero, you can't use it. The choice is yours whether to lift or confine. So let's go through exactly let's go. what just happened. Except let's also confine a soldier. Let's do healer it. and a merchant. Four, five, five, eight. Wow, I thought their remove was six plus one. Because they have a um a passive skill that gives them a bonus to how long they stick around. But I thought their base remove was lower. 
Do you have a passive? No, but you can swing a, a body. Or rather, you can be swung. Yeah, that's a skill they have when they are equipped or something. Alright, Power of Valor. Doubles attack and end on the final turn. Solemn Vow, actually a thing. But anyway, I think Morona's gonna end her turn. Lift. Attack. Can I get two of them with this? No, I don't think I can. Let's go! Whatever. Let's go. Alright, that was more than six. I'm okay with this. Alright. What are your attacks? Strike, profit punch. Yeah, let's let's like profit punch it. I don't know what blue attribute is. Or blue SP type. Maybe you can finish off the bunny thing? Yeah. Nice. Ready, key? Oops! I uh, meant to move. Alright. I should have checked what this thing's stats were. All right, got him. <laughs> okay, yep. angle slash. <laughs> it's way more effective than using that AOE skill, but I wanted to start training my spirit SP. Um, because your SP goes up Great. as you use the skills of that type. Let's, let's profit punch. Okay. Let's, yeah. Maybe I should throw away that enemy. Wielding them is kind of funny. Yeah! But, um, I'm not sure it's the most effective of things. <laughs> Alright, and Ash wrecks everybody. But our healer and Ash leveled up. Final element of battle, protection, special effects. They're geo panels, except not at all. So hit the bunny. Morona's actually like not actually the best for this, because I might have done zero anyway. Yeah, protection may be a problem. It's receiving a protection of defense times four. Okay, one side gives and one side receives. Yeah. It's being affected by that dead tree. The quack dead tree. Yep. It's the reason Morona couldn't damage the target, but you can destroy the protection. End of tutorial, apparently. Or no, protection is con continuing to be tutorialized. Okay, it might work to your advantage when used skillfully. Like, this tree is receiving a protection, so you can confine to it and, like, steal the protection. Yep, they're ongoing as long as the object emitting it is not destroyed. And yeah, you won't get the effect if you confine to the tree over here in the corner. You should always confine phantoms to the receiving end of the effect, unless the effect is bad. You can tell how many protection effects they're receiving by looking at the number. Yeah, two means two. Good thing the tutorial told me that. Why are they using so little of the text box horizontally? This concludes the tutorial. Maybe it's that I turned the resolution up. Okay, for additional info, remember that battle help is available if you press Y. There's no way I could have remembered that because it told me I on the keyboard earlier. Let's go! Oh yeah, we need to destroy that tree. So we're not actually going to confine anybody to it. Because then we'd have to beat them up. Let's do it! Are there any other objects around? No. So move to, like, this side of the tree. And attack the tree. And 
Ash just regained 18 hit points that he didn't need. You're running into an item. <coughs> Alright, enemy protection is gone. Yeah, if you try to move outside your movement range, you just move to the edge of it. <laughs> yeah, even after the protection to be on is Morona deals zero. Alright, what stats do you even get if you lift Morona? Um, when equipped, int plus one, resistance plus one, speed minus two. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Characters yeah. usually have bad equipment bonuses. Oh, Ashes are actually decent. Four attack, three defense, one in. Oh, it ran into our hands for some reason. I guess I'm not really benefiting much from the extra int. But I think Morona might get more experience from wielding her. Oh, how's your health, HP? We should go home and rest. Yep, you're right. Talk to the healer, she'll recover our health. We should take this chance to equip items. Press Y and equip items. Bring it into battle. Okay, how are you doing? Oh, Marona doesn't feel confident. Okay, just, just worry about using Confine for now. Can, can check out other tips later. Oh, Gabbit gains? But wasn't good for anything. I guess. Oh. Ah, okay. Gains to Bordeaux. Right trigger is heal all. I expected it to be Y. No, oh, I should check what my current items are. I don't have any items. No, actually, can I make phantoms yet? No? Maybe I talked to Morona for that. Where'd she go? You get stuck back here? Hi. Yeah, you are how I summon more. For some reason, I thought it was that green phantom. Oh, wait. Create. Summon is if I've created them, but, um... Uh... Words. But they're not, like, present on the island. Anyway, I should be doing all this stuff next episode, because we're out of time. So yeah, the game started a little slow. It'll pick up. I know what the overpowered strats are, even, so, like... We probably won't have to do much grinding at the end game. Well, I guess it does take grinding to get him going. I, I know how to make really overpowered weapons, let's say. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this part. The next part, creating phantoms, equipping up, and uh, yeah. See ya!